Round one is kettle cooked. So uh, I'm going to start with uh, I'm gonna start with salt and uh, cracked pepper. Salt and cracked pepper. Let's see. That's pretty good. I like the crunch of the chip. I definitely taste the salt. And you get kind of a hint of that black pepper at the end, but it's not overpowering. Sometimes black pepper can be overpowering, so I like these. Now, we're going to try olive oil and herbs. Olive oil. Here we go. Let's check it out. Oh, first of all, it's got a, it's got a nasty waft to it. Um, I hope it tastes better than it smells. Here we go. Mm. The crunch is there. I like it. It's got a little bit of an herby flavor to it. You can you can taste the oil. It's kind of a sweetness and A friend of mine who tried these said they taste like pizza crust. And it, it does. It's got kind of a little bit of a pizza taste to it. So. so I don't know. Between the battle of sea salt and cracked pepper, I like them both. And I think they're different enough that Lay's could probably keep them both. But if I have to make a choice, I'm going to stick with the classic sea salt and cracked pepper because it's just uh, it's a home run. Palate cleanser. Battle of the barbecue chips. Honey barbecue versus Korean barbecue. Did I get that right? I got that right. Okay. I'm going to try honey barbecue first because these are pretty much the classic lays. And... and that's good. You got a little bit of that tangy barbecue flavor, but a little bit of sweetness, a little touch of honey. Pretty awesome. They smell barbecue-y. Let's check these out. This is the cur ooh, ooh. That don't smell good. And this is Korean barbecue. Ah, that's nasty. It tastes like feet. Ah, oh. it's like somebody ground up a, a sweat sock that had been used in a gym for a month without being taken off. And then made it a seasoning and put it on chips. I need to go shave my tongue. Ugh. Honey barbecue for the win, definitely. Now some of my favorite chips are the uh, cheddar and sour cream. And uh, the new one is smoked gouda and chai. So I'm going to do the cheddar and sour cream first, which I like these chips. I, I get them when I, when I want chips. Mm. You get that... Big cheese, a little hint of sour cream afterwards. So that's kind of just, uh, it's perfect. Now I'm gonna try the uh, smoked gouda and chai. Mm. You can definitely tell the difference in the cheesiness. These are still cheesy. But they've got a Gouda flavor, kind of a, a milder flavor. It's not the cheddar flavor. And the chive really comes through almost... Uh, when I taste chive, I think of sour cream. So it's like a variation on, on the cheddar. This is a tie, okay? These two are so much alike. And, and there's not that much of a distinction. So I don't care which one they keep. I'm, I'm going to eat either or because they're both good. <laughs> Palate cleanser. <sighs> Looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. Okay, these are the hot ones. We got the flaming hot and the fiery roasted habanero. Now, now to tell you the truth, I don't like hot chips. I, I'm not a hot chip eater. And I don't like hot things, so. Um, let me try the uh, habanero. Mm. 
Not much flavor there. I'm not tasting much of anything. A little sweetness maybe, and I don't know. It doesn't get hot until after you've eaten it. And there's kind of like a, 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 back, a back heat that comes into your mouth. Um, it's a back seat heat. This has a back seat heat. After you eat it, then it starts getting hot in your mouth. But uh, I don't think I'm going to eat anymore. Um, not impressed. And these are the flaming hot. And uh, look at that chip. That is weird. It's like a pink chip. Hi there, pink chip. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. You want to eat me? Oh, yes, I do. Get in my mouth, flaming hot chip. This is the same thing as the uh, the fire roasted habanero. It's not that great on flavor. It's got a better flavor though than the habanero. 